Our next guest is Chief Economist and co-founder of Macro Business. He's a former economist with the Victorian Treasury, which is short of money right now. Leith Van Onselen, good morning. G'day, Tom. Thanks for having me on again. Well, thank you. So we've talked about immigration before, but there was this, I would almost call it an outrageous statistic that emerged today. In the month of February, we had net immigration levels, this is for all of Australia, of 105,000 people. And apparently the state with the biggest number of arrivals, it doesn't say how many, but the biggest number of arrivals came to Victoria. Now, if we, if we let in over 100,000 people every month, that could be a 1.3 million increase in our population each year, which is a 5% increase. I mean, surely it's no wonder we have a housing problem and prices are booming and you know, rents are, are very tough as well. I mean, I just I don't understand the policy. Yeah, look, it's absolutely bananas. So, so basically, that, that data you point to is the monthly net permanent long-term arrivals data. And it basically, you know, it, it, it uh, recorded record numbers for, on a monthly, quarterly and annual basis. And what it basically tells you is that the Albanese government's, you know, projection in December that they'd lower net overseas migration to 375,000 has been blown out of the water. Based on this data, net overseas migration is still running near record levels, if not at record levels. And it's going to smash through that. And all this means is that the Australia's rental crisis is going to keep worsening because Australia's rental vacancy rate is already tracking at a record low of around 1%. And this migration boom has occurred alongside an absolute collapse in housing construction. So mm. data released this month from the ABS shows that uh, we, we only approved around 150,000 uh, homes for construction. And we're only commenced about 150,000 homes for construction if you annualise the latest data. And that's about 90,000 less than the Albanese government's target to build 240,000 homes a year. So right. basically we've got... So, so sorry, if I've got the numbers right, so we, we, we've only approved 150,000 homes around Australia, and yet we could have seven, 800,000 fresh people coming to Australia. Yeah, absolutely. So probably won't be that high, but if you count natural increase, it was 660,000 in the year to September. If it tracks at that level, you know, around about that level, it's going to be very, very high. Why, why hasn't the federal government ever asked us about this big Australia policy? I mean, at least Kevin Rudd, for all of his faults back in 2007, said, I believe in a big, a big Australia. Why doesn't Anthony Albanese just come out and, and, and level with us? Well, yeah, I mean, Albo basically lied to us. So before the uh, the last federal election, he actually said that, he, that he'd uh, run a lower immigration program. There was multiple articles of him being quoted saying that. Instead, he got elected. He went to the September Jobs and Skills Summit. He ranked immigration to all-time highs into a you know, supply constrained housing market because of the pandemic. And as a result, we've got the worst rental crisis in history and people being forced to live on, live in the streets or pushed into group housing, all those sorts of things. It's an absolute disaster. And it's been brought to you by the federal government through their mad immigration policy. And finally, do, do you believe the government when it says, I think it's after June or July, that they're going to wind back the immigration numbers substantially? Do you believe that? Look, look, they'll, they'll they'll definitely cut them back. I mean, they're they're at just such an absurd level. There's only one way for them really to go, and that's down. The problem is, Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill said we're going to do the biggest cut ever, and she's going to cut to two hundred and fifty thousand, which was still thirty thousand more than we had in the fifteen years of Big Australia pre pre pandemic. So basically, Labor created the problem. They more than doubled immigration to five hundred and fifty thousand, and now they're saying they're going to fix the problem by halving it back to a level that's still way too high and is historically high. All right, so, thank, yeah, it's just, it's just all double speak. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Leith. Leith and Onslin, who certainly calls a spade a spade, chief economist and co-founder of Macro Business. But it is extraordinary. And, and the government just, this is the federal government, just puts up its hands and says, oh, nothing to see here. It's not our fault. It is. It is the federal bureaucracy that issues visas. The government could go to them and say, the total number of visas you can issue this year is 250,000. That's it. But they don't. And that's why we've got 100,000 people arriving a month. We spent.